Right now, it's the Colin Greenwood Funk and Soul Show. That was Jackie Wilson with Your Love Keeps Lifting Me Higher and Higher with James Jameson, one of my heroes on bass guitar. This is Colin Greenwood from Radiohead and up next it's Shirley Ellis with a great folk funk track, The Clapping Song. That was Shirley Ellis with The Clapping Song and this is Colin Greenwood from Radiohead sitting in for Craig Charles this week. Every half hour, I'll play you a song featuring the mighty James Jameson on bass. I'm also going to be shining a spotlight on some other great bass players in the funk and soul world, like Bernard Edwards from Chic and Bob Babbitt, who very nearly went into wrestling instead of music. I'll also share with you a song that Stevie Wonder wrote with his mum. Up next, I'm going to play you a track called People Say by The Meters, because... We used to cover it when I was in a funk covers band at college and also because I went to see the bass player George Porter play his little one-off show a couple of months ago uh, with uh, Wim Butler from the Arcade Fire uh, after we played in New Orleans and it was a fantastic night. This is a pre-recorded show so just kick back and enjoy the tunes. Hi, this is Colin Greenwood from Radiohead here on BBC Six Music, sitting in for Craig Charles. I'm going to be playing you some of my all-time favourite funk, soul, R&B tracks that I've loved over the years. I've had special connections with me, either playing uh, with Radiohead or other bands or, or, or sharing music growing up with my brother. The next track is Anne Sexton, You're Losing Me, which I adore because it is another track that I used to play as a cover when I was in college uh, doing the ball circuit with my band. Hi, this is Colin from Radiohead uh, playing you my favourite funk and soul tunes. The last track, Family Tree, very kindly recommended to me by my good friend Kieran from Fortet. And coming up next, it's Chic, my forbidden lover, who were absolutely fantastic at Glastonbury this year. And of course, it's my fantasy band playing. Here it is. That was My Forbidden Lover by Chic, and it's fantastic that uh, Niall and his band back in the UK just played Glastonbury, and I see they're also touring America with uh, the fabulous Earth, Wind and Fire, which would be an amazing show to go to, and one of my all-time favourite bassists, uh, Bernard Edwards, there on bass. Coming up next, it's a James Brown track. I tried to go for something a bit, perhaps a bit less known. It's a, one of my favourite Hank Williams songs, and it's him playing with the Louis Belson big band, Your Cheating Heart. You just heard James Brown with his cover of the Hank Williams standard, Your Cheating Heart. We're obviously Radiohead, massive, massive James Brown fans, and we used to rehearse. The others indulged me in rehearsing my favourite tunes back in the day. And one of my things that I'm most envious of the lead singer Tom in my band for is he had the opportunity to introduce James Brown live at the Hollywood Bowl about 10 years ago. He got on stage and said, Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together for the one and only Mr James Brown. Oh, it was amazing. Tom was like... Um, I've just got this request. Um, I've been asked if James Brown, James Brown wanted to know if I would introduce him at the Hollywood Bowl. Should I do it? What do you think? And I was like, and in the best sort of received pronunciation, Oxfordshire, you know, home counties accent. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please put your hands together for Mr. James Brown? I mean, amazing. Next up is another classic that I'm totally unashamed to play. Uh, it's a fantastic naughty record. It's called Ring Your Bell by Anita Ward and it's a fantastic record if they ever play it in the supermarket and you need to walk around because it makes you like pick up your pace in a very very cool way here it is BBC Six Music six, 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 six. Hi this is Colin Greenwood from Radiohead and I'm sitting in for Craig Charles this week after the news I'm going to be sharing with you more of my favourite funk and soul tracks but first up here's the BBC Radio Six Music News six. 
That was the fantastic Gladys Knight in the Pips with Love Is Always On Your Mind. I love that track. I only found out about it recently through the fabulous resources of Piccadilly Records Manchester. So it's a big shout out to those guys, um, especially since that's where I'm right now. And if you can get on the internet and check out live version of Friendship Train, which is on like a TV show, it's amazing with amazing drum breaks. This is Colin Greenwood still standing in here for Craig Charles on BBC Radio 6 Music. And we've got more after this. Six Music. Hi, this is Colin from Radiohead here, standing in for Craig Charles. And the next track came to me via a Q-tip from Tri Called Quest, who was visiting in Oxford a while ago, a few years ago. He was uh, he was hanging out with me whilst our producer Nigel was going out checking some mixing desks or something. And Q-tip rocked up and he was wearing a, the full Nigerian international football strip. And he had an amazing disc. We were all into disco and boogie stuff at the time massively. And he had an amazing Japanese compilation. I think he was a bit phased, actually, because he'd come to our village to talk to Nigel about working on a record and Nigel had to leave suddenly to go and look at this mixing desk that we bought which was the one that Sex Pistols used to make Never Mind the Bollocks and so he really wanted and the Clash London calling so we got this amazing mixing desk and so Nigel said can you please you know look after Q-Tip for a bit whilst I go up to Lincolnshire to look at this desk so he came round and I think he was a bit sort of it was a bit nonplussed because he'd spent seeing Nigel, but we had the nicest time listening to all this amazing disco music. And then uh, the best bit of it is I drove him back to my studio and I had this old, really old black Lexus at the time. Uh, and he was sat in the back and he had his, his Blackberry and he, he was playing Hyde Park with Kanye West and Pharrell. And he was talking to his personal assistant. He said, yo, can I get a res for my crew at Nobu? on his Blackberry and I was driving at the front like because his engineer was in the front with me but the best thing about it my six year old son at the time was I'd been showing him all these New York breakdancing videos from like the breakdancing shows they used to have in the mid 70s in New York TV and when he saw Q-Tip and he listened to the music we were listening to he came downstairs and he started spinning on his back and doing all the breakdances and Q-Tip just looked what, 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 is, what are you doing you know I said you know and these are one of the tracks that was on his compilation. I'll be playing a few more later too. It's Donald Bird with a sumptuous swoop of his track, Places and Spaces. That was the Swan Silvertones with If You Believe Your God Is Dead, Try Mine. Another recommendation I got from Kieran Hebden Fortet. Apparently it was on hearing the Swan Silvertones that Paul Simon was inspired to write Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Although I don't think this was the actual song that he heard. This originally came out on House of Beauty Records, which was so called because it was originally stationed in the basement of a beauty parlour when the owner was so moved by what she heard in church that she gave over her basement for gospel acts to practice. This is Colin Greenwood from Radiohead and you've tuned into this week's Funk and Soul show on BBC Radio 6 Music. Coming up next, uh, one of my favourite tracks growing up with my brother Johnny when we were kids um, we had a big sister who introduced us to lots of great music and this is one of the records that she uh, turned us on to Bob and Earl with Harlem Shuffle that was Tommy Tucker with his cover of Robert Higginbottom's song High Heel Sneakers uh, which I'm told was covered over uh, over a thousand times which is amazing but I love this track Tommy Tucker had a record called uh, Mother Tucker as well which has got a couple of amazing bass heavy tracks on if you can find a copy or check out on the internet it's great Hi, this is Colin from Radiohead playing another favourite track of mine the Q-Tip from Tribe Called Quest introduced me to. It's that classic, The Jones Girls, Nights Over Egypt. That was The Jones Girls with Nights Over Egypt, which is one of the classiest tracks you will ever hear on the radio. Hi, this is Colin from Radiohead. I'm a massive funk and soul boy. Uh, that's how I fell in love with playing the bass in Radiohead. And I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to share my deep abiding passion for this music here on Radio 6, stepping in for Craig Charles. Coming up next, two tracks by one of my favourite artists, Betty Davis who um, was really introduced to me by our producers Paul and Sean who recorded uh, one of our tracks called Creep and our first album Pablo Honey and mixed the bends. They gave me a dat of her music uh, back in the 90s and uh, I just loved it and fell massively for it and I'm going to play two of my favourite tracks which shows sort of different sides of the woman, the sort of hard edge 
raw swaggering funk of anti-love song and then a beautiful melodic sort of uh romantic um melancholic tune in the meantime which always reminds me of um amazing prince track diamonds and pearls so we're going to listen to anti-love song and in the meantime here they are that was betty davis with a beautiful bittersweet in the meantime and uh you're listening to bbc radio six music and it's me radiohead's colin greenwood standing in for craig charles mm. Sweet Charles is one of the bass players who played with James Brown and who I loved and one of the lines that I learnt back in the day. Um, apparently he learned guitar from Curtis Mayfield when he and his impressions were in Nashville and uh, Charles washed Curtis's car in return for lessons. How cool is that? Coming up next, uh, we're going to listen to another track which was an inspiring one for me when I was like trying to learn how to play the bass. It's James Jameson playing on an early Stevie Wonder track, I Was Made to Love Her. The euphoria on this is amazing. That was Stevie Wonder with James Jameson on bass playing I Was Made to Love Her. And that was a very personal record for Stevie because it was co-written by his mum, the woman who persuaded Barry Gordy to keep him at Motown. Right, okay, here's a six music announcement. Uh, tomorrow, immerse yourself in Underworld's Manchester Street poem. 30 minutes of brand new music from the band inspired by stories from the city's homeless community. A touching sonic piece created especially for six music and the Manchester International Festival. Sunday afternoon at one on BBC Radio 6 Music. Coming up next, it's a track that I didn't know so well that my friends Kieran and Dan, respectively from Fortet and Caribou, had turned me on to. It's Honey and the Bees, Love Addict. It was co-written by Norman Harris and Tom Bell, with Bobby Eli on guitar, Ron Baker on bass and Earl Young on drums. These were the guys who would go on to form the backbone of MFSB, and alongside Gamble and Huff would revolutionise soul music in the 1970s. The next track I love because of the, the bittersweet love lyrics and the amazing drum breaks. Uh, it's Diane Warwick with You Can Have Him. You can have him. That was Dion Warwick with the gleefully vengeful You Can Have Him. That was Clyde McFatter with his sublime cover of the Libra and Stoller tune, Spanish Harlem. Hi, this is Colin Greenwood from Radiohead and I'm sitting in for Craig Charles this week. After the news, I'm going to be sharing with you more of my favourite funk and soul tracks. But first up, here's the BBC Radio 6 Music News. Six. That was The Capitals with Cool Jerk, which was another track that me and my brother loved when we were kids and had us bouncing around the front room listening to that. And of course, they had another of my all-time favourite bass players, great Motown bassist Bob Babbitt on bass there. But Bob Babbitt was no ordinary bass player and his talents eventually opened doors at Motown and he would go on to play an integral part in Marvin Gaye's What's Going On album, which incidentally saved him from a life of wrestling, which in the early 70s he had turned to to make ends meet. Coming up now is uh, one of the heroes of mine, which is Curtis Mayfield. And uh, the bassist who played with him that I know of um, was called Joseph Lucky Scott, who's an incredible melodic beautiful bass player and Curtis Mayfield was one of the greatest artists of all time. I remember we were making a record called Kid A in France and I had a VHS tape of Beeb Soul and uh, Funk Night at the BBC and it had Curtis Mayfield, Bill Withers and all these other people on it playing live at the BBC and it just, I wore that tape down to, to the nub because it was so amazing. So I've chosen two impressions tracks uh, one um, perhaps less known, Just One Kiss, which is very, very beautiful. And then the exuberant, fabulous, one of the big civil rights anthems of the 60s, We're a Winner, which is just fantastic. Um, so that's Curtis Mayfield with the impressions. Here we are. That was uh, Curtis Mayfield with the impressions. And uh, we're now going to listen to another track that me and my brother used to love when we were kids. And it's The Soul Survivors Expressway to Your Heart. That was the Soul Survivors with the fantastic Northern Soul Stomper Expressway to Your Heart. And now we're going to listen to The Four Tops, Still Water Love, with the immense James Jameson on bass, one of my all-time heroes and inspirations for playing bass guitar with Radiohead. You've just heard two great tracks. Uh, that was Lorraine Ellison with Try Just a Little Bit Harder. 
And before that, uh, reissued on the fantastic Light in the Attic uh, label from uh, Seattle. That was uh, Pastor T.L. Barrett, the Youth for Christ Choir, uh, with their amazing song, Like a Ship Without a Sail. What I love about that track, it was a gospel choir, and they'd never been in a studio before, and they worked with, um, oh, I can't remember, it was some really famous backing band when they did it. And they couldn't understand why they had to sing it over and over again, which is, you know, which is what you have to do when you own a studio. But it's an amazing track, and I think that the record that they mastered it from for the re-release came from like a, a charity sale in a, in, in a church uh, church fate. So that's that's a fantastic track. Coming up next, it's a Joe Quarterman with "So Much Trouble in My Mind," which is a track that I used to cover when I played with my brilliantly fun funk covers band back in the day and uh, sadly it was really their only major hit and when the finances became too much Sir Joe was back at college finishing his architectural studies that was Timmy Thomas with You're the Song I've Always Wanted to Sing which came from a fantastic compilation called Urban Classics Volume 2 I think uh, which when me and my brother Johnny were kids we played to death you're listening to BBC Radio 6 Music and it's me, Radiohead's Colin Greenwood, standing in for Craig Charles. Coming up next is uh, another great piece of bass work by James Jameson playing on Marvin Gaye's one and only soundtrack. It's the Trouble Man soundtrack and it's the uh, soundtrack title. Uh, Marvin Gaye had just recorded Motown's biggest album in the shape of What's Going On and he'd just been handed a $1 million contract, total artistic control. So who was the man he demanded provide the bass part for this stonking song? It had to be James Jameson, and here it is. That was Marvin Gaye's track, uh, Trouble Man, from the eponymous soundtrack with James Jameson on bass. Coming up next, it's another of my favourite tracks, and it's another cover. It's a song called Baltimore, written by Randy Newman, and uh, recorded by Nina Simone in Belgium. And it's uh, very beautiful, dubby, dark, and uh, just a fantastic track. Here it is. That was Nina Simone with Baltimore, uh, recorded in Belgium. Another cover by Randy Newman originally. What a beautiful song. And now we've got a different kind of swagger. We've got the uh, amazing upfront dramatics. Stax artists. Uh, Stax is a label, very important to me, um, adore them massively, um, amazing book by Peter Kuralnik, if you can check it out, about Stax and Memphis, and uh, the track by The Dramatics you're about to hear is called What You See Is What You Get. That was Dee Edwards with I Can Deal With That, and uh, it's such a beautiful, powerful voice that could only have come out of the church. Fantastic. I'm just so excited and so lucky to play some of the favourite funk and soul records that have inspired me, nurtured me and made me excited to play the bass guitar and uh, and just enjoy music so much here on Radio 6 Music. And now here's the next record, one of my favourite artists again. It's Gene Knight, who's obviously very famous for Mr Big Stuff, doing a really fantastic lowdown track called Do Me. You just heard David Robinson with I'm a Carpenter Part 1 that I just heard recently on Soul Jazz Records, brilliant New Orleans compilation. Before that, one of my heroes, Bill Withers, with You Got the Stuff, with an amazing funky outro. And then before that, Gene Knight with uh, perhaps lesser known but deeply funky track, Do Me. This is Colin Greenwood in for Craig Charles on BBC Radio 6 Music. And after the news, I'll continue playing some of my favourite funk and soul music. Right, here's the news. That was Miriam McCaber, who is an incredible woman, heroine of mine. She's uh, with the song Quit It, one of the best anti-drug songs ever recorded from her A Promise album. And this is no ordinary record, because sitting in as her backing band was Joe Sample, Styx Hooper from the Crusaders, and the whole record was produced by David Axelrod. She was an incredible woman, and a woman whose importance in spreading the word of African music and the word of common humanity across peoples of all nations can never be underestimated. You're listening to the Funk and Soul Show, Six Music, with Colin Greenwood, and we've got more after this. Coming up next is a track that's very important for me, not just because James Jameson's playing bass on it, 
and it's a Junior Walker track. It's the way the track explodes in the bottom end halfway through. It's called Shotgun, and uh, I just love this to pieces. Enjoy. That was Carl Hall with You Don't Know Nothing About Love that came out on the Warner's Loma label which was their rival label to motown records and it's well worth checking out because it's not so well known and the thanks to matt sullivan from light in the attic records for turning me onto those amazing tracks that was the master rocker by bernard wright which is from his debut record nard which amazingly came out only when he was only 18 and that's another track that uh q-tip very kindly turned me on to Right, time for some Six Music Radiohead news. At the Six Music website, it's your last chance to check out uh, each member of my band, Radiohead, uh, having delightful conversations with Matt Everett for his first time series. Uh, I think we all love doing it, and uh, you can check out all our favourite early music moments. First time we checked out music live and recorded, and and the times that we all as a band hung out in school together, um, playing music and listening to music. Uh, It's really cool, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we all did making it. That was ESG with Step Off. Coming up next is Charles Erland leaving this planet. This has been Colin Greenwood from Radiohead, standing in for Craig Charles and the Funk and Soul Show. Craig will be back next week, and you can download tonight's show for free with the BBC Radio iPlayer app. <laughs>